you know, most, uh, most coaches go to coach because they want to teach. Yeah. Yeah. They want oh, to yeah. teach. Not, some coaches are there for trophies, but some, but most, but 90% of them are there to teach. So whether you're teaching football skills or you're teaching life skills, it yeah. doesn't matter. Um, it's a, it's something that you've taught. If you can, if they can take away, I've, I've had girls come back to me and say, you know what, I've gone to play another sport, and what you taught me about being competitive, about being fair, and stuff like that, and um, you know, don't take no for an answer. You know, it, it's helped me in another sport. I mean, I had a girl playing with me at Albert Park who went to s- sailing, and yeah. she and she was she texted me back saying, you know what, um, if you taught everything you taught me about sportsmanship about um teammates and working together as a unit and mm-hmm. all these sorts of stuff it i took that into another sport you know or i took that into work or whatever the case may be mm-hmm. so mate it's that's that's what it's all about it's all oh, it's yeah. all nice it's all nice to win trophies and that but at the end of the day um yep. if you're teaching some life skills mm-hmm. well so good that's it the feedback so good Oh, I completely agree there. So tonight we're going to speak with Roger from Altona City and we're going to have a look at the women's program out there. And we're also going to have a brief look at Roger's journey in football so far. All right. Without further ado, let's head over. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Um, um, Roger, uh, how did you get involved in football? Uh, my dad took me to my first training session when I was... Uh, Seven, so you know, Sunshine Heights Junior Soccer Club. Uh, was I played there till I was sixteen. Mm-hmm. Uh, I sort of fell out of love with the game for a little bit because of politics and stuff like that. Yeah, fair but enough. I wanted, but I wanted to stay involved, so I started to. Um, I did a course in sports massage. Yep. Um, got my diploma. Um, was a sports therapist for about twenty years with several clubs, uh, Western Suburbs, uh, Grand Gully. Yep. Um, and, and stuff like that. So, um, also did a couple of NP, uh, sorry, the old NSL teams that came yeah. from Sydney that yeah. uh, that I worked with. So, I was lucky enough to be exposed to a lot of good coaches yes. uh, in the in, in the inner sanctum. Yep. Right. Yeah. You know, pre-game training, stuff like that. You know, uh, Royal Razic was uh, coaching um, Parramatta Eagles when they were coming mm-hmm. down, and just to listen him listen to him talk. Yeah, uh, pre-game and half-time was just phenomenal. You know, yeah. Um, yeah. that really then started getting winning my appetite for for coaching <laughs> at early at an early age. Yeah. Um, then you know, uh, at Green Gully, when I went at Green Gully, um, I was on. You know, we all worked with um, Chris Taylor. Yeah. Um, Ian Dobson. Um, Ian Dobson, I should say. Um, so um, you know, we won when we won the 99 and 2000 VPL championships. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so then went back to Altona and Yarraville, um, ended up working with uh, Charlie Egan, yep. another big socceroo. Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah, so I was, I was exposed to a lot of good coaching. Yes. Um, so a lot of good f- philosophies, a lot of good ideas. Mm-hmm. Um, then... My girls wanted to start playing football. Yeah, um, and they said, you know, how about you come and come and coach us? So I said, yeah, okay. But uh, at Altona City, this would have been two thousand and no, sorry, it would have been nineteen ninety nine. Okay. Um, yeah, so they were, they were under sixteen the year before. Yep. Played their first senior first senior roles or first senior games as um, in Division One resies. Which okay. we ended up winning a championship with a, with a bunch of under 16, which was yeah. really, really good. Uh-huh. You know, a really talented bunch. Most of those players went on to play, you know, Victorian Premier League at, at some stage with, yeah. with, 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 with other clubs, um, yeah. which was pretty pleasing. As a reserve coach, you just want to develop players. Exactly. So, um, yeah. But, um, yeah. And then, um, yeah. That, so that's basically where my past um, yeah. started with um, the, the love of football. Perfect. Thanks for that. Yeah. Um, and what's the uh, women's program at Altona City right about now? Right about now, we're, we're in a rebuilding phase. Mm-hmm. Um, when I was when I first started Altona City, would have been, like I said in nineteen ninety nine through to I think two thousand and 
11, 12, they were, they were, they had, they were pretty good they were, they were in VPL division yep. one. Um, but unfortunately the, uh, the committee of that day decided that they didn't want to have female football anymore. Wow. So um, they've, they've tried several times to, um, to kickstart the program again. Yep. Um, I, I came back on board after coaching away from the club yes. uh, in, about two years ago. And um, yeah, the, the, cl- the, the program's just building. Um, we've got obviously senior women's, we've got yep. in, div- in Division 3 as we are now. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got under 16s, under 14s. Um, I think it's 14s or 13s, I'm not sure, but um, yep. a division lower. And yep. also, the mini ruse now is there's a lot of girls. You know, I think there's about two dedicated mini Roo teams, just yep. girls alone. Fantastic. So, um, but the, the, the beauty of it is also is that um, the girls are getting recognised. Mm-hmm. You know, there's, there's um, you know, we play Friday nights yep. at home. So that's d- dedicated to us. Uh, okay. So the club wants to showcase the girls. Yep. So, yeah, that's what they're doing at the moment. You know, obviously getting the senior gir- senior women's to help and coach the the junior teams coming through and, mm-hmm. you know, on nights and the mini roos as well on the weekends. Yep. Um, really promotes that female participation. Perfect. Yeah, and I think that's a great idea, all those initiatives that the clubs um, that you guys are doing. Yeah. And to really... Um, you know, boost the prof- boost, boost the profile of female pro yeah. football. Um, yeah. In your experience, um, what is, have you seen any changes throughout in your time in football so far in women's football? Yeah, look, um, when I first started coaching, there was there was probably uh, what was a VPL, um, sorry, the the, the 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 women's version, yep. um, and then you know, the reserves, and you had Division One, which had mm-hmm. a, which had a few. A few, I think it was northwest and southeast, and yep. you had um, the you had division two, yep. and a sprinkling of division three. Back in the early day, you know, we're talking 10, 11 years ago. Yeah. Now it's really deep. We're going, you know, we're going into division five now. Yeah. You know, we've got, we've got not only we've got an, an NPL, but we've also got a VPL now, and then we've yep. got all these branches coming out everywhere, and the talent pool is just out of sight now you know so um the quality now compared to what it was 10 years ago yeah is chalk and cheese absolute chalk and cheese yeah yeah but uh, and look but also at, at club level too there's been a big big change of attitude towards the women's game so yes. you know back in the day when when i was coaching um you know the girls got hand me downs. They got, mm. you know, hand me down strips and hand me down equipment and hand me down this. But you know, they were still paying their fees. Yeah. But they were just seen as the, the poorer sibling or the poorer gender, I should say. Yeah. Right. Now it's different. Now they're getting all the kudos and they're getting everything that they deserve. You know. Exactly. And, and and you know what? It's pleasing to see. It's really pleasing to see that um, they're getting the recognition. Mm-hmm. They deserve because you know what, between the men's game and the, and, and the women's game, you've still it's still the same size pitch with the same rules, exactly. the same with the same amount of players, the same mm-hmm. time. So you know, um, yep. there's no shortcuts anywhere. No, 